Hello everyone and welcome back to Danganronpa V3 where we had our first murder. I'm very sad about this one. I am too. I liked him. He was mysterious too. Yeah, I, there's still like so much mystery around him. I want to know what his ultimate was. The ultimate dead body. I, I mean at this point, you know, and it's... It's weird because in, in the first Danganronpa game, I felt like Kyoko, not knowing what her ultimate was, uh, you know, gave her plot armor. They weren't going to kill her. Uh, and here, they kind of turned that against us. Mm -hmm. I still think... I'm down to two, two ideas on this. Because I see absolutely no reason why if someone were trying, you know, just killed Rantaro to, like, move on with the killing game or whatever, I don't see why they wouldn't have volunteered to leave. That makes, that makes no sense. So I think it comes down to one of two things. Either this is a uh, Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student. A thing where they're trying to frame uh, Kyoko. Uh, in this case, I guess it would be Shuichi. Or I think the person doesn't know they did it. Mm -hmm. So, all right, let's start talking to characters and, and see what way I maybe something we wouldn't investigate will change my mind. But I, that it makes no sense to me that they wouldn't see that or they forward. literally hate everyone. Like Ryoma has no reason to want to live. Right. But I don't know why. Like, the, I don't think he would have killed Rantaro in the first place. I'm just making a statement. Well, if you're the ultimate detective, then you've got your eyes on the culprit, right? Huh? What? I'll leave it to you. Tell me you think the culprit is. I don't mind if it's just an educated guess. Uh, oh, I want to know too. Sorry. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I can't say anything yet. Not cool. But there's someone you're a little bit suspicious of, right? No, there's got to be. Uh, uh Jeez. but you're afraid of that. You're afraid of suspecting someone, aren't you? That's how it looks to me. But, but with things the way they are, wouldn't it be better for you to suspect others more? <laughs> Let me just warn you. The way the world works is that those who speak win. The truth can be can easily be twisted. In order to fix a twisted truth, you need something even more powerful. Huh? What do you mean? Be careful. I mean that testimonies without evidence are powerless. Be careful. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> that was cryptic. That was very cryptic. That is not what I was expecting. Why did the culprit not step forward and take advantage of the first blood perk? Exactly. Huh? What? Then. The culprit must have killed to survive, so it is odd that they would not step forward. Hmm. True, I wonder what that means. That's true. I can think of several possibilities, but the worst case scenario is... The culprit's objective wasn't to survive, it was to kill everyone here. Huh? I everyone? That is correct. That would explain why they would forego their survival in favor mm. of a class trial. I don't buy it. Um, I don't buy it. But does that seem a little bit of a stretch to you? Do you agree? Well, if the culprit is also the mastermind, then it is certainly plausible. Oh, that's true. That's true. But again, then at that point, we're kind of at a Mukuro Ikusaba thing. Right. But the mastermind could be one of the students. And then they're like, whatever. If everyone dies, sweet. Ultimate despair. Right. But then we would un be unmet. I mean, we're kind of metagaming it here, but then we would unveil the mastermind in the first chapter. Yeah. And I don't see that. Gonna happen. I don't see that happening. Yeah. It could be. The mastermind a, a body switch again, which I know they won't do that again. Mm, yeah, I doubt it. Well, true. Killing us all. Oh, that's, that's the wrong one. Yeah. Well, true. Killing us all seems like something the mastermind would do. So we cannot lose this fight. Even on this uncharted path, we must find our way. Actually, that doesn't stand up either. Because the mastermind wants the game to take place. They're not going to end the game all at once if they can avoid it. Yep. Don't buy it. Can't fool me. I mean, they I have. I don't know who killed Rantaro, but it's Monokuma's fault it happened. Because he pressured us. This happened. That motive he gave us is part of it, so it's that strange music. Oh, God, yeah. That's terrible. He played that music at such a high volume to make us feel sick and want to kill. Uh, okay. Yeah, it was awful. I thought I'd go crazy. I can't Someone felt pressure by that and killed Rantaro. It's all Monokuma's fault. Um. Anyway, we have to stop the mastermind so this is the last murder that ever happens here. We just have to. Hmm. Promotional video BGM has been added. All right. That's weird. Trashy skank. 
Don't talk to me, crotch itch. I'm fucking busy. You continue ignoring us while she fiddled with the controller. Huh? What's that controller for? Ah. Dun 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 dun. It's a prone. Um. Prone? Um. I don't mean to butt into the conversation, but don't you mean drone? Actually. If it was a prone, it'd team up with the rest of the Ganglion Alliance to destroy humanity. I don't I know have that one. <laughs> no idea what she's talking about. <laughs> then. Oh, wait a second. That controller is. <laughs> now you're getting it, dick cheese. She laughed obnoxiously and pointed her finger upward. Ha! Feast your eyes on the latest creation from the gorgeous girl genius, Miu Iruma. It's a drone. I thought it was a prone. I told you that's a drone. If it was a drone, it'd be leading a pack of vicious monsters. I don't get it. When did you have time to make this? I think I know that one. I got bored after I made those cameras you asked for, so I modified this RC plane. I even decked it out with a camera so it'll take perfect aerial photographs. From there, I'll use the photos as a reference to draft a floor plan to help the investigation. This way, I get out of having to do any actual investigative legwork. <laughs> Already stands to reason. Drafting a floor plan with photos. Hmm. That's amazing. I'm sure this will help with the investigation. Out of my way. The only problem is I'm not used to operating a drone and taking pictures with it. Please. You should be proud of that. And if you don't hurry, the investigation will end soon. Bitch. I can't do shit about that. So just calm your tit tiny tits and shut up. Oh, jeez. Shut up, you. My chest is way better than your nasty cow otters. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. What did I do? Otters? Actually. A bit wimpy when someone stands up to you, huh? You're actually a complete wuss. Where's our drone? Ah. Is there any? I'm wondering if they would start like hiding clues underneath these things. Yeah, I doubt it. Yeah, it does seem unlikely. Okay, Smeechy. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's think. 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 So we can look at the bookcases. It's weird we can't look at the body. All I think right. you need to move closer, I bet you. Yeah. Um. Hey, Kaede, do you remember what we saw when we came in here? Yeah, yeah I remember. Um. We saw the moving bookcase close on its own, right? Hmm. No one even touched it, so how did that happen? Hmm. Actually, it has to do with how the bookcase works. You move the bookcase to reveal the hidden door. Ramble, 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 ramble. Is that all right? Look at that. Oh, that's you. Take a look at this. If I let go of the bookcase. Now you can talk. <laughs> can I? Can I? Nah. You let go of the bookcase and after waiting for a bit. Okay, ramble, so ramble, it closes ramble. on its own. That's going to be that's going to be key. So was Rantaro uh. in there? Oh, it closed on its own. Hmm. The bookcase is set up like an automatic door. It closes after a period. It makes perfect sense when you think about it. I'm wondering if he, I'm, I'm thinking he moved it to try to get in to uncover the mastermind. And then I wonder, I wonder if the flash, okay. I'm gonna investigate further, but I'm wondering if the flash went off and that made him suspicious. He walks over to the bookcase and then the ball hits him on the head. If it didn't close on its own, you wouldn't be able to put the bookcase back after you went inside. I see. You see, the bookcase has to close on its own once you go through the hidden door. The bookcase has been added to the truth bullets. I bet that's it. But wait, and the bookcase closes itself after you enter the hidden door. Uh, oh, maybe the reason why the bookcase closed itself was because the mastermind was hiding just past the hidden door. No, because everyone is here. We would have seen someone come out of that door. You're right. After killing Rantaro, they ran through the hidden door. It certainly is possible. Everybody wasn't here when that door closed. Right, but they would have had to have come out. Well, unless they could get out another way in that room. They could. 
We don't know. Let's check that now. Huh? huh? How do we check it? Remember. The dust on the card reader, remember? Sweetie moved the bookcase again to reveal the hidden door once more. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like the only way in and out. Then. All right, let's see. We leaned in to get a closer look at the gap of the card reader. Huh? Huh? The dust is still there. So they never got inside. Mm. You're right. I feel I'm feeling better about my theory with the with the camera. It looks like the card reader wasn't used. That means the mastermind didn't hide here. I'm thinking Rantara moved mm. it. What if the mastermind placed the dust they after they used the card reader? No. No, I remember exactly where I put the dust. This hasn't been moved at all. Okay. I think it's safe to assume the mastermind did not go through the store. Um. Then the one who moved them, the one who moved the moving bookcase at the time was Rantaro himself. No. Now, I can't say for sure. We'll know more when we get the pictures back. There's a chance that someone else is hiding here. Your dust has been added to the truth bullets. I see. Well, I still think the mastermind is the culprit. Um. So we just need to find the clues that can connect us to the mastermind. We'll end the killing game that way too. E. So we can take a look at... Can't we look at the body? Maybe once we go look at that one bookcase, we get closer. This is the rear door. It's the farthest door from the stairs and leads to the hallway. Uh, By the way, this is a sliding door. See, it opens when you slide it. Uh, okay. Yes, I saw that. Mm -hmm. Do you think Rantaro entered through this door? Uh, um, I can't say for sure until we get those pictures back from the Mana Cubs. Uh, you're right. We'll just have to wait. A... We, we are. Did we look at the moving bookcase? No, we talked to people about the moving bookcase. We haven't actually like looked at it. Moving bookcase is closed right now, so the hidden door is currently out of sight. By the way, you guys set up a security sensor on top of this bookcase, uh, right? Okay. Yeah, it should still be there. Let me check. Luigi climbed up the ladder and looked on top of the moving bookcase. Remember, it's still here. I should take it down now. Oh. Removing is fine, but won't your receiver go off when you move it? No. No, it's alright. I turned the receiver off. Hmm, you can turn it off. Okay. Yes, I made sure to switch it off on the way down here. I thought the mastermind could still be inside and I didn't want to alert them. I see. I see. Smart thinking. Hmm. Oh no. The fact that he could turn it on and off is gonna make him look suspicious. I'm telling you, this is this is totally the pinning it on uh Kyoko. Alright, bookcase with the blood on it. Near the, the body. body. Okay. Mmm. Mm. Pretty sure I don't need to tell you this, but shouldn't we investigate Rantaro's body? Yes, if we want to find clues, we have to. But if it's too much for you, Kaede, you don't have to, okay? No. No, it's fine, I can do it. Mine was set and I started to walk towards Rantaro's body. Yeah, because I want to find out for sure what that object is he was hit with. I think it's a shot put ball. I think you're right. Last time I saw Rantaro, he was alive and well. Hmm. Why did Rantaro die here? Huh? What do you mean, die here? Remember. I mean, if Rantaro was the one who moved the bookcase, that would mean he came all the way over here after the bookcase opened. Exactly. He moved away from the hidden door to this spot. Why would he do that? And there's no trace of his body being moved. It doesn't add up. Are you okay? Ah, are you okay? You've gone pale. Well, I guess that's normal. We have to investigate a body after all. The body is someone who was alive and talking to us just a little while ago. No. It's okay, really. We just have to do our best. Not just for Antaro's sake, but also so we can avenge him. So we can protect everyone else. We have to defeat the mastermind who's orchestrating this whole thing. Hey! Um, Kaede, I'll help you in any way I can. I'll support you for this investigation. I'm sort of a detective after all. Please. Sort of. You are a detective, remember? Uh Okay. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, we can't look at the key. Oh, because he took down the camera. Hmm. Bloody shot. Okay, so it is one of the shot puts. Uh, the bloody shot put ball is on the ground. Could it be... The shot put ball. Could it be... Yeah. Yeah, it definitely came from the warehouse on the first floor. Hmm. There's blood all over it. That's the murder weapon, right? I don't see anything else that it could have been used. You're right. The shot itself is heavy. You would have to be fairly strong to use it as a weapon. Fairly strong, huh? 
Lady Shot Football has been added to the Truth Bullets. All right, I guess we'll take a look. Um, I need to, I know we need to examine his body, but I'm not sure where to start. Leave it to me. It's okay. I can do it. But no hesitation as he began to examine Rantaro's body. Hmm. There's blood on the back of his head. It looks like a pretty deep wound. It's consistent with blunt force trauma. I don't see any other injuries. The Monokuma file is accurate. This must be the fatal wound. Um, so we can trust the Monokuma file? Uh, yes, okay. for now. So we should have stuck his hand into Rantaro's pocket. Huh? Wait, what are you doing? Uh, I'm checking um, what he has on his person. There might be a clue. If we're going to do this, we have to be thorough. I told you I would support you after all. How can you say that with so much confidence? Come on, Katie. Pull yourself together. Hmm. Rintaro had in his possession the key to his room and the student handbook monopad. The monopad is definitely his, and it's exactly the same model as ours. Um, he didn't have a card key on him? Could it be? That's what I was thinking, but he didn't have it. Then Rantaro really wasn't the mastermind. Hmm. If he was the mastermind, he wouldn't have come here without the card key. So with what we know now, this is the most likely possibility. Why was Rantaro here if he wasn't the mastermind? Rantaro's belongings it has been added to the truth bullets. Are you okay? Kaede, are you okay? We've finished investigating the body. Let's get out of here for now, okay? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Mm. Oh, the, the ladder was the other thing we could look at in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I'm not done. Hmm. Something is bothering me. Why did Rintaro come to the library? It seems likely that he is not the mastermind. What reason did he have for coming here? Uh, I'm guessing it's something to do with what Rintaro mentioned earlier. So I'm trying to figure out what did he tell everyone that he was with? Because obviously he had to have walked out of that meeting. Yeah. Ending the game itself. Could it be? Then it's possible he noticed the hidden door in the library just like we did. Huh? What? Uh, um. He might have come to the same conclusion we did, that the mastermind would come here. Um, you mean he has the same idea as us? No way. He should have told us. Uh. We're to work together. Collapsed to the floor, crushed by the weight of my frustration. No. No, he probably couldn't risk telling us. Like you said, he was suspicious of everyone. I have you, Kaede, but Rantaro didn't have anyone he could trust. Hmm. That might have been the only difference between me and him. Said that he offered me a hand. I took his hand and he firmly pulled me to my feet. Remember. Kaede, let's go. We can't waste time now. You're not going to give up, right? You're going to save everyone. Yeah. Sweet Right. I can't give up now. Shuichi. Thanks. I feel like I can rely on you even more. Huh? Huh? Suichi's right. We can't give up until it's over. I can't stay depressed forever. I have to help everyone get out of here. We have to continue the investigation. We gotta find the mastermind. I just realized in the first two games, in the first chapter, the person got stabbed. This does not follow that. Oh, yeah. Moving ladder I used to reorganize the books is on top of the books on the top of the bookcases. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Okay. So we can probably leave. I'm Feel missing like, something. Really? Oh. Tons of books are crammed in the bookcase and arranged in various stacks on top. Hmm. Doesn't seem as if anything has changed since we set up the cameras. Remember. The books that you stacked up haven't that you stacked up haven't moved. Yeah. Oh, you mean the ones I stacked to keep people from going through the vent? Yeah, those have been left alone. Stack books. Okay. Anything else? All right. The monitor did turn off, so maybe that's the thing. Time limit to start the killing game has almost expired. Then the countdown stopped and that obnoxious noise went away too. I wonder what would have happened if the time limit had expired. Oh. We're missing. All right, so we looked at that. We talked to everybody. We looked at near the body. We looked at that. The, the globe. globe. Okay. It's a mysterious globe, and I don't think it has anything to do with this incident. Well, that's what I would have said. Oh, the vent. I didn't, didn't see it from there. I thought we had covered it. The vent it. is open. I was the one who took off the grate and left it in the duct. 
Hmm. And we were keeping watch in the classroom this event leads to. I don't think the culprit came in or out through here. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Ooh. Library event. Now I'm thinking this can be pinned on us. Because we were in the classroom by ourselves. Oh, yeah. Front door that leads directly to the basement stairs. We went through the door before we discover Rantaro's body. Hmm. We went to the library through here with Kaito and Tenko. Yeah. Yeah, we saw them moving bookcase clothes, and then when we ran over, that's true. We found Rantaro's body behind that bookcase. Hmm. I wonder if Rantaro entered through the same door as we did. Maybe the mastermind did too. That's. When we see the pictures after the Monocubs develop them, that will be clear. I guess all we can do is wait. Um, Katie, I think we've investigated the entire library um, now. But we still don't know anything yet. I feel like we didn't get any closer to the mastermind. You're right. The most important important piece of evidence will be those photos once we get those. But then again, we can't just say that and do nothing. Let's keep investigating what we can. Um, keep investigating. That's true. Yes, I think we should collect alibis. We need to verify where everyone was during the time frame when Rantaro was killed. I see. If that's the case, then who should we question? I thought mm -hmm. for yeah, those people. That's you. Six people. I, oh. We, oh, this isn't. The, oh, sorry. I thought this was a flashback. Six people that went down to the basement with Rantaro. Kaide. Or sorry. Ka Kaido. Kaito. <laughs> Thank you. Gunta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, and Himiko. Let's talk to them first. Hmm. They should have been in the game room along with Rantaro. Let's ask them about what happened there. Okay, let's go find them. For now, let's go ahead to the game room. Mm, I, yeah, I don't trust the fact that... I just no wonder why they split up. It sounds like they were all going to wait and ambush a mastermind when he came to kill him. Or maybe he was trying to keep them busy. Uh, why is there only one person in here? This is the game room, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, it. Okay. Um, you. Where were you on the night of last night? Dot, dot, dot. Five minutes ago. Um, Maki, you were in the game room when Rantaro was killed, right? Hey. What were you all doing down here? Rantaro was with you, right? Hey. Am I a suspect? Uh, oh, no, that's not what I meant. Hmm. You should suspect me. In fact, you should be suspicious of everyone. Huh? Huh? Because someone got killed right after we all gathered here. The timing is too perfect. Then again, with the time limit so close to expiring, maybe that's why it happened. You don't know? Trust no one, Katie. Or you lose. Got it? I get a read on Maki at all. She just saw a dead body and she's perfectly calm. It's hard to imagine her as the ultimate <laughs> child caregiver. But. But why were you all here in the first place? <sighs> I don't understand. What? Someone's up with your controller. Yeah. Uh, okay. It was Kaito's idea. He suddenly wanted to hold a strategy meeting and gathered us together. He said we should confront Monokuma once the time limit expires. And he picked the seven people he thought would be useful in a fight. Seven people. Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Hem Kimiko, Angie, and Rentaro. Angie would not be good in a fight. Come I'm like, on. Angie. She'd be like, praise be to a two and you will go away. <laughs> I don't really see Maki being all that good in a fight. Yeah, I'm kind of suspicious of these choices. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's more useful. They're more useful than the others. Maybe. Maybe. But yeah, I don't see, uh, or Himiko. I don't see Himiko being useful in a fight whatsoever. I'd be like, my MP is depleted. <laughs> I don't feel like fighting. Yeah. But um, I'm not sure those seven would all be there useful to fight. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I love a lot of those characters. I would not pick them to start a brawl with Monokuma, though. I see. Kaido thought Himiko's magic and Anji's connection to it too would be useful. Huh? What about you, Maki? Why did he also pick the ultimate child caregiver? This is stupid. Looked at me and said, yeah, you probably know how to fight. That's it? Jeez. That does that does sound like something Kaito would do though. But But why have a strategy meeting in the game room in the basement? 
beats me. Maybe Kaito figured it would be harder for Monokuma to find us here. In other words, it was just a coincidence? Uh, um... And what was Rantaro during, doing at that time? Was he in the strategy meeting with you? That's true. He was, at first. But then he excused himself to go to the bathroom and left on his own. <sighs> Kaito and Tenneko went looking for him so we could finish the meeting before time expired. That must have happened around. Oh, what are you guys doing here? Yeah, this yeah. is a... Um... Then did the four of you just wait in the game room the whole time? Nope. Angie, Himiko, and I were the only ones who stayed behind. Gunta never joined us. Huh? Huh? Gunta wasn't with you guys? <sighs> Gunta did arrive, but then he left and locked himself into the AV room in the back. Hmm. He was in the AV room by himself? You. AV here, isn't it? The other two felt the same. Um. What other two? Like I'd know. Why don't you go to the EV room? They're probably still there. Maki's account? Okay. Shuichi. Hey, Shuichi, the EV room is that room in the back, right? Could it be? Katie, have you never been in there before? No, every time we tried, you stopped yeah. us. Nope, not yet. Anyway, let's go. Ah. Wait, that's weird that Wait. Kaito's back there. Wait, Gonta not murder anyone. Come on, man. I told you, we're not saying you did. We just want to talk. No. No, it's him, all right. He's got the face of a killer. It's not Gonta. No Don't way. No, no judge Gonta by his outside. On inside, Gonta gentleman. Hey. Hey, what's going on here? Ah. Oh, hey there, Kaede. We're just trying to ask him. <sighs> just tell us while... You're still asking nicely, are you or are you not the culprit? Hmm? Or are you not the culprit? Are you not, not, not the culprit? Huh? Gonta, not, not, no, uh, oh. Ugh. It's just been this over and over. We can't move forward at all. Um, I think your questions are the problem. Hmm. And I'll change the question. Timmy buys five strawberries for 50 cents each and one apple. Jeez. It's totally off topic, Himiko. Do your own math homework. <laughs> you know? Hey, Gonta, I talked to Maki earlier. You were in the basement AV room alone the whole time, right? Hmm. But what were you doing here alone? Um. Gonta happy to be invited to meeting, but Gonta think he not be much help because he not smart. Bugs are. So Gonta in here alone watching bug movie. Huh? Um, what? How does that help? Honest. Bug movie fill Gonta with fight. Make Gonta ready to fight Monokuma. So it helps you fight. Okay, sure. You do, you, Gonta. But you know. But why was it locked? Huh? What was locked? With my magic. You don't answer honestly. I'll change you into a girl with my magic. Huh? huh? Gonta no can become girl, Gonta. Then Gonta never become gentleman. Jeez. Can you, go? can you just shut up for a second? You're making this harder than it needs to be. Is that all right? Gonta, can you tell us what happened next? Gonta. Gonta just need focus. If Gonta no focus, Gonta no can fill up with fight. Honest. That it really, Gonta just want to protect everyone. <sighs> but you guys not going to believe Gonta, huh? Because Gonta's so big and scary looking, huh? Whoa. C calm down. You're making me, uh, you're making a really scary face. How can this be? Because Gonta feels so useless. After hearing his story, I can see why people would suspect him. But I wonder what really happened. Could he actually be the mastermind? That's true. Kaede, let's investigate this room a little more. We also need to verify Gonta's alibi. Yeah, yeah you're right. All right, and we'll just have to investigate this room in the next episode. Find out how Gonta, real gentleman. Yeah, exactly. I don't think he did it. <laughs> I don't either. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. I don't think he did it. Anyway, that's going to do it for us. Meteors did it. Meteors did it. <laughs> that's exact. That'll be $20. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.